Marvel Strike Force, what is going on? How is it going today, everybody? We have a very special day today in Marvel Universe because today is the day we unlock the new hero. Uh, Wolverine is in the game, guys. If you haven't followed me, you should be really close to unlocking him as well. As you can see, one time to unlock Wolverine, which means if I claim my all clear today, I'm going to get the last five pieces. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it, guys. There he is. We got the last five remaining pieces for Wolverine. So today we're going to spotlight Wolverine. I'm going to show you guys what this guy can do if you have him, if you don't have him. See where he's going to be really good at because I'm really curious, um, you know, to really get play around with Wolverine. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's recruit him. Also, for today, I have a good amount of uh, gems saved up for a while now, guys. About 8,000. So we're going to do some uh, orb openings and see if I can get some... You know coins for some different heroes here so let's go ahead let's recoup the great wolverine beautiful all right two stars so oh, this is gonna need a long time you know what i mean to go let's see if there's anywhere else you can get them white bite orbs oh all right so the only way to get them is through the orbs guys for now so we're going to first of all let's go ahead and train them up level 51 and then we can go from there We'll break down his abilities in just a second here. So let's take a look at his first ability. Attack primary target. This is basic. For 80% uh, percent pierce, apply bleed on crit. So let's take this to as far as I can go right now. Alright. This is as far as we can go. We'll attack for 200% pierce plus apply bleed on crit. Alright. So we need to make sure that whatever we do to him, we gotta have some crit on him. Second ability. Attack primary target for 70% piercing. Uh, apply bleed on crit. This is literally the, like the same one. Uh, chain up to two targets for 50% piercing and apply bleed on crit. Wow. Okay. Seems kind of very similar to the first ability here. Except now you can chain up to three targets. Hmm. Alright. Not bad. Uh, in order for us to be able to unlock the other abilities here, let's go ahead. I'm going to equip them with everything I've got here. Let's see how far we can take them. Upgrade. Tier 2. I might be able to go up to like tier... I don't even know yet. We'll find out right now. Maybe tier 6 or 7? Hmm. I've saved up some equipment. Alright, tier 3. All right, so I got him up to tier five, guys, uh, which unlocks all of his abilities, so that's good. So let's go ahead into third ability here. Let's see what this one is going to do. Attack primary target for 250%. Boy, they're all the same exact. So the initial uh, explanation is literally exactly the same. If health is below 50%, gain offense up for two turns. Attack is unavoidable. Okay, actually, that's nice. Mm. Oh, I love that. Unavoidable damage is always really good. Wow, but now this has increased to 520%. Jeez, that is quite a lot, guys. Seems like one of the heavy hitters in the game right now. Okay. Healing factor. On turn, gain regeneration for 10% of this character's max health. 5% chance to revive with 10% of... Whoa. All right. 15% increase in health. 15% revive. That seems pretty dope right there all of his abilities are really cool guys wow seems like to be doing a lot of damage applying bleed and then also regening you know uh, gaining his health back so very cool wolverine now let's go ahead and check out what else i've got here on my team all right let's see we've got achievements here let's claim these achievements i'm not sure if i should first do the orbs yeah oh you know what we got one free one right now premium orb so let's go ahead, let's break that down, let's open up the orb, and then I'm gonna do a few more. Oh, 25! This is actually pretty good for Nobu, because he's one of the better characters in the game, guys. Nobu is actually what I wanted, so let's keep going. Seems like my luck is pretty good right now, so let's open up a few more here. I'm not sure how many, maybe about... What?! Wow, my luck is actually looking really good. 50 pieces, Jessica Jones, just like that. Nobu and Jessica Jones... That's actually two really good drops. Let's see what else we got. Daredevil. All right. Next one. 
This is Ronin, and I actually... <laughs> I needed Rodin because I was very close to summoning him, so now this actually, we can summon Rodin after this. So this is two characters that I've unlocked today. Mmm, real good day. Kingpin, one of my characters that I'm currently using on my arena squad. Very nice. Boy, I'm loving these drops here. So far, so good. Let's see what else we got here. Um, okay, 15. What we're looking for is major drops, 25 and above. Gamora. Okay, we'll take it. 25 and above, no less. I will not accept any... Uh, damn it. Alright, I'll take that. Let's go down to 3,000 uh, power cores here. Come on! Mm. Give me the power cores. More Daredevil. Where are we at Daredevil? Ooh, actually, I've got a good amount here. I can promote Daredevil as well. Some more Iron Fist I can promote. So we can do a good amount of promotions right now, guys. Oh, well, I've already broke the 3,000 gem barrier. All right, let's, you know what? Let's do one more here, and we will cap it off with that. I want to have, you know, a few more remaining uh, power cores to be able to refresh the campaign, you know? So here we go. Let's go ahead. Let's summon Ronin the Accuser. So we get two new heroes today. This is pretty dope because Ronin actually has some pretty cool abilities, and I... One of my main goals in the long run of the channel is actually, you know, to build a team uh, around Ronin and around, you know, Cosmic, Mystic uh, team, but mostly a Kree. There's a lot of Kree characters in the game. They, they look awesome. They look pretty cool, but how good are they? You know, so not really sure, but let's just really quickly break down Ronin here. Attack primary target for 100 uh, damage. That's pretty good. Judgment. Clear all negative effects from self, heal self, and all Kree allies for 200 health and 5% of the... Wow, so this is pretty good. Like I said, this would be really good on a Kree team. I really want to try that out. Attack all uh, enemies for 40% damage. Apply ability block to one enemy. Hmm, ability block is a great ability. And the last one is gain 5% uh, resist. Okay, so seems like a good support hero. He heals, he clears, and he ap applies ability block. So, all in all, not a bad hero to have. Alright, so let's move on here. Let's see. We've cleaned Milestone 4 here. Okay, for spending all those power cores. Get another achievement. So, we're moving on up. Oh! Alright, boys and girls. Here we go. We can rank up now. This would be a good time. Nobu. I mean, uh, Yandu. 5-star Yandu. This is great. A huge power level increase. From 5 star to 6 star, that's going to help out a lot. And as you can see, this guy is my best hero in the game. Obviously, he's a beast. Uh, let's also rank up Kingpin. Kingpin is um, a great support tank, guys. When it comes to support, he is incredible. Um, first of all, he can summon two minions here, which are really good because they come in with a taunt, which is great to absorb some damage. And then this one, boss's order. This is a sick ability. Offense, apply... Uh, Defense up to all allies, uh, offense up to four allies, 20% chance to assist from allies, twice as likely as if they're villain or mercenary. So, uh, better off on a villain team, but if you have a couple of villains on your team, it's a nice uh, boost anyway. So, that's really good. Let's just go ahead and see what else we can do here. Winter Soldier, we can promote him as well. Let's go ahead, let's promote the Winter Soldier. Bam! Power levels are increasing. We didn't get any lucky from uh, Wolverine, which kind of sucks. I really wanted to actually, you know, <laughs> work on Wolverine a little bit, but that's okay. Who else here? We can definitely promote Daredevil, but you know what? I am not going to promote any of these heroes right now at the bottom, guys, because I'm going to wait for the milestone where I have to spend some gold, right? Let's wait for that a little bit. Uh, currently, I can't promote all these heroes all at once. It's literally impossible. Um, because just don't have enough equipment for everybody. So, one at a time. Right now, we're going to leave it at where we're at. We're going to go ahead and we're going to try out Wolverine right now in a Alliance raid. So, let's see where we're at. Here we go. Let's try out this Alliance raid right here. Mm. Let's take... No, let's keep Captain in. Let's take you out, Hawk. And let's put in Wolverine just for a test run, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's break it down. Let's see what we're going to do with the Wolverine. We'll keep it at a one speed so we can actually break down his abilities. And 
Let's see what he's gonna do. All right. Start off with a speed boost right away. This one makes Black Widow really, really well. Oh, great, guys. She goes into a... She goes into stealth herself and gives a lot of your heroes speed up, which is incredible. Captain America, probably, I would say, personally, he's my favorite tank in the game. He's incredible uh, because of this ability that we just went into. He taunts for himself and gives your whole team defense up, which is incredible. Now, Yandu, we can go with a basic... Um... You know what? Our opponent is not that strong right now. It's earlier stages, so let's go ahead. Let's just uh, take out anybody. Uh, this is why Quake is considered one of the best heroes in the game, guys. Because, first of all, her basic ability deals a good amount of damage, but applies slow to up to 10 adjacent uh, heroes. That's really, really good for a uh, basic. And then also, this one has a 40% chance to chain up, plus it clears one positive effect. So this one clears a positive effect, this one applies slow, and then a third ability here attacks all allies for a lot of damage, 270% is a good amount, and then offense down on three enemies. So all of her abilities are, you know, really useful in all areas of the game, that's why a lot of people consider her to be one of the best in the game. Here we go here, not getting attacked. Ugh. Alright, here we go, the main hero that we were looking for. Alright, so first ability, attack primary target, 200% pierce, apply bleed, uh, bleed on crit. Attack primary target for 110% piercing, bleed on crit, chain up to 3 targets. Alright, so I think we should go with this one first. Go ahead, let's see what's gonna do. Boom! Uh, uh. Alright, so hits multiple targets and... We, did we get bleed on their defense speed? Nope, there's only slow on them right now. So it wasn't a crit, so it didn't apply the bleed. Which kind of stinks, but that's okay. Let's keep going here. So we take her out. Who's next? All right, now let's go into Captain America's uh, this shield attack here. This one will actually clear some uh, positive effects too. So you want to save that for whenever a hero's got a, a, you know, a boost. Now, Yandu's uh, ability here is really, really good, guys. He uses his whistle. Uh... Whatever that thing is, attacks everybody, AoE damage, incredible. Now let's keep going on with the speed boost here. Apply more slow. And boom, boom, e, I. Look at all this damage here, Black Widow does. Jessica Jones, that's the, her ability to clear negative effects. Ooh, three damage, wow, are you kidding me? That's actually really good. Three energy, I meant. Here we go, now let's go ahead. Take her out here. We are almost done clearing this stage up. And a little bit of AOD damage. Hmm. These abilities, I mean, these uh, raids right now are not as difficult earlier on. When you get later on, they get a little bit harder. So, there's a lot more strategy that is evolved. But, okay, let's see what is this one is going to do now. Attack primary target for 5 120 piercing damage. Alright guys, so that's a lot actually. Let's put it on Jessica Jones. Let's see how much this is gonna do here. Oh my god! Look at the animation, that's incredible! He literally just killed her. I didn't see how much damage it was. But wow, are you kidding me? He just literally destroyed her so hard. That was not even a joke. Boom! Now let's summon up some minions here. Explosion! Watching these animations are sick, guys. I mean, what? how many other games do you know that has this kind of detailing into the game? That's why I really, you know, love this game from the beginning. Look at this. Boom! Everybody floating in the air and they're gone. Especially when somebody's eliminated. You can actually see the action. It's, it's so awesome. Alright, so... First of all, that ability from Wolverine... That seems sick, guys. That third ability there. Wow. That's incredible. So much damage. Here we go here. Um, now the game obviously just got released, so there is a lot more that needs to be done. But when they eventually maybe introduce some type of a system where you can boost up a character's characteristics, meaning you can give a character um, special, you know, more offense, more defense, more attacking, more health, more whatever, um, uh, it it's definitely going to be possible at some point in the game. But 
obviously you, what you need on Wolverine is crit. So if there is a way to boost up your Wolverine's crit percentage, meaning as close, if you can get close to 100 as possible, that would be really, really powerful on your Wolverine. Because as you can see, didn't apply bleed on any of those heroes because um, you don't know what the crit is. So yeah, that's kind of the problem. But if we can adjust, you know, adjust our heroes later on in the future and put some crit on him, this would be sick. Or uh, find a team that will give your heroes extra crit percentage. That will really help a Wolverine. But right now, uh, the one that I really love the most right here, guys, this 520% is piercing damage is incredible that is a lot and if he's below 50 percent health gain offense up for two turns and it's unavoidable this seems really really strong guys i mean this is literally going to take out a bunch of uh, enemies so that's what i love about him the most these first two abilities are very similar all his abilities are really similar a lot of piercing damage and then applying bleed so that's what i love about him um with the health recovery, it's great for the raids because, you know, every time he, it's his turn, there's a percent that he's going to heal up, which is going to come in handy a lot. And then also, you can also use them in your arena teams pretty much everywhere, guys, because it just does a lot of damage. So, yeah, that's pretty much the spotlight for Wolverine. I hope you guys enjoy that. So, I will catch you guys out in the next Marvel Strike Wars video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out, everybody.